hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this sleeve i have made something similar on my channel but in today's video we are going to do it with a velvet this is the first time i'm actually trying it out with a velvet um you can cut uh, you can cut it uh, in a spiral we are with the spiral method but i want to use the circular method for this sleeve so I will show you guys what worked for me because this is the first time I'm actually trying it. So I will cut out my circles. As you can see, the fabric is very stretchy. Normally, it will not stand, it will not be firm. If you use it for that type of sleeve, it will not be firm. So you need to do a little manipulation to get what you want. So the circles that I cut out are eight eight inches. Um, long like if you fold your circle the length of the circle will be eight inches that is from the center of the circle will be eight eight inches and i cut out 12 pieces of this velvet 12 pieces you know that we will pair it the reason why i cut 12 is that i will use velvet as the lining the velvet is the main line is the main fabric and the velvet will be the lining as well so all together we will have six pieces of these circles after pairing so i added the hard gum to six and left six like that so six you have a hard interface and the rest will be normal so here are the ones that i added the interface to i added the interface to six a hard interface so after that i'll go ahead and pair all of them like i will pair one that has an interface with another one that doesn't have an interface like the way i'm doing it right now one has an interface the other one does not have so the one that has this hard interface to support the other one so after that i'll also introduce the quino line or the horse hair braid the quino line will also give um, structure to this so you are supposed to use the four inches but i couldn't find the four inches or the two inches i'm using the 1.5 inch right now so that's the one that i will use for this so you place it round each circle when you go to your sewing machine you place it round each circle and then you will sew on the so i'll go ahead and repeat the same for all of them sorry guys i have kata so this is what i will do for the six pairs like it is six so this is what i will do for the six so i have finished pairing them and i have added my crino line to it as well you can see that one side has a hard interface and the other one does not have so i'll go ahead and trim this circles i'll go ahead and trim them very well so take your time and trim for sure you have sx so just go ahead and trim off the excess so after trimming the excess you go ahead and open the center of the side that has the interface that is the side you open from so you can see you cut a small opening at the middle and then you will tuck it out from there you go ahead and turn it out from there this is how you you would do this is what you would do for the rest of the circles so take your time and turn them out then after turning out you go ahead and iron so the ironing is actually the main work here ironing this can be very hard because of the crino line so you will take your time you can use you can use a steam iron if you have a steam iron and if you don't have a steam iron you can as well sprinkle water all over it before ironing so ironing is the main job so take your time and iron this very very well so i am done ironing and this is what they look like you can see some are bigger than the other because i managed two years of velvet for both the sleeve and the bustier parts so i used two years for both the bustier parts and the sleeve so i was trying to manage so some are eight and some are seven inches so you go ahead and fold in a triangular form like this 
if you want also you can fold this way you can see the way i folded it like you fold into two and then roll if you don't want to do it like that you can just fold in the in a triangular form like the way i am holding it right now so this is what you will repeat for all of them and after doing that you go ahead and hold the triangular part you hold the pointed part with a stitch you go to your sewing machine and stitch it so i use the sewing machine to stitch if you want you can as well use your needle and thread that was what i did in the former video that i posted so i am done holding the pointed part with my sewing machine as you can see it is giving me this rose like look so i'll go ahead and add them to the sleeve on the bustier already so here is the bustier i have added this is the style that i'm making i've added a short sleeve to the left side of the bustier and here is where i will go ahead and add the sleeve so this is where your needle and thread comes into play this is where you will use your needle and thread of course you can do it on your sewing machine but using a needle and thread will give you the space to manipulate things so you take your time and add all of them one by one then after adding you can as well use your needle and thread to do a little touching and finishing on it so that is what i did you go ahead and place them where you want them to be so when folding this circle please make sure that the velvet part is on the 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 part that has the interface is on the outside i don't know if you get if you are looking at this you will notice that the parts that i added the interface is smoother and firm so if you are folding this circle like when folding the triangles this part that has the interface should be on the outside i don't know if you noticed when i was folding it so the parts that you did not add the interface to should be on the inside so you go ahead and add all of them and arrange it the way you want so here is the final look of the sleeve i actually used only five i did not finish the six but if you want it to be fuller you can use the six so thank you guys for watching thank you for stopping by and please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you guys can get to see it thank you guys for the support thank you thank you see you in my next video bye